phone doesn't cut me off because I'm making a lot of videos, but um, but before I lose my train of thought, um, th I'm going back a little bit because I forgot to add anything. One of my consoles I had, um, I tax was coming. It was around my birthday. I didn't know what I wanted. I didn't have any Nintendo consoles at the time. I had PS4, I had uh, PS4, 360, PS3, maybe I don't exactly remember. I had um, 360. And I think I had a 3DS for a period of time. I think that might have been what drove me to get it. I don't exactly remember. My brain isn't really that good. But, um... I'm trying to remember. But um, I remember it was kind of off a whim. I wanted a I wanted a Wii U. I knew nothing about a Wii U. I knew nothing about it. I just remember seeing it. People were talking about it. And I said, I'll take that. And we went up to Walmart. We picked one out. It was so cool being... Like, it was so cool having a Wii again. Because I remember as a kid, playing, like, playing Mario Kart with my family, you know? Like, and I got the, that's the one I got. I got the bundle of Mario Kart 8. And um, I remember, um, I didn't know anything about it. I had a Wii that was failing. That Wii that I had was breaking at the time. It was on its last leg. It scratched game. So now I just had it sitting in a closet every once in a while. I took it apart, just kind of curious how things worked. And, um... I broke it intensely, which I wasn't that good of a kid. But, um, yeah, that's... And then I was testing things out, and I realized that I could play Wii games on the Wii U. It was so cool because I still had the controller for one. This is actually a controller I had with my Wiz original Wii. This is my first controller I ever had. It was just so cool to have. But, um, turn off. But, um, like I was saying. And then I was sort of thinking about it. I wonder if it could play Wii games. And I remember I dug them out of my closet. I had Resident Evil 4. I had Mario Bros. Wii. I had Mortal Kombat Armageddon. All these games I tried to buy so many times. But they always scratch on me. You know, they always mess up. So I just stopped buying them. I wanted to play them so bad. But I just realized I'm not going to be able to play them. And I was able to play them. So I remember as soon as I could, I rushed out. And I actually got this. Because my way I love to play the GameCube. No, I love to play all those mo like Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Like I like to play it on the GameCube controller, and you know this looked like a GameCube controller. I thought it was gonna be the same thing. It's kind of cheaply made, but not exactly the same. But it was good for the time. I really liked it. I played Resident Evil Four, which is the game I haven't. I didn't get to play for years after that, and um, I remember it was so cool. But um, I. I did get to play it on the original white 360 when I when I hooked it up after I found out about it, and I bought Resident Evil 4. But besides that, I didn't get to play it for that long, because my 360 something happened with the hard drive, and I never got it back, and I didn't have Wi-Fi at the time. Okay. Point is, um, get I had to go back because I forgot to mention that. So I had so the consoles I had I had Xbox One, PS4, PS3. Xbox 360, PS Vita, PSP, and um, I had I had Xbox, PS2, and I think that's all. I think that's all I had at the time. A good bit of games. Like I was slowly building up, and I felt so proud. Like I could I could pick any game anywhere, mostly, and play. Like I was, like I remember when I was little, I walked into Game Exchange. Like, actually, the gaming scene is right down the street. I moved down the street from where I started gaming. I think that's a cool thing. And, um, when I moved back then, I moved down the street. And I think it's so cool walking in there a long time ago and barely able to afford any of the games. I remember one of the biggest things of my life, um, my sister and I don't, my sister Stacy and I don't get along at all. And she actually bought me a, a Sonic game that I really wanted at the time. On my DS, but long story short, I just want to mention the one of the good deeds that my sister done for me. Um, thank you, Stacy, if you ever watch these videos. I still remember it was really sweet. But it's so cool thinking back to then when I was barely able to afford any games, and think back to now when I can walk in. I can I could have walked in that store and bought almost any game I could, and I was working odd jobs, like I said. And I was slowly able to afford games. And it was hard work. And it was paid off perfectly. So, oh, I also had a DS. I had an original D. I'm thinking, I'm thinking differently. Um, I also had a 3DS uh, later. 
because um some guy on the internet because I started doing YouTube slowly um I I think I might have deleted the video um some guy on the internet I'm not sure why he wanted to buy me a a gift card for GameStop and the uh, um I really wanted a 3DS so um, I slowly started wanting it again. Because I want to play DS games. So I keep on going all over the place. My memory doesn't really work that well. Next time I'll write this down. But um, I want to play some of the old DS games. Um, 3D Land is the game I had while I had my 3DS the first time. And um, yeah. Slowly get back to it. But um, it, it got in the mail. I actually ordered Sims. Which is a game I had as a kid. Because I was getting into retro games. So, I wanted to get some of the games I had as a kid. I ordered this version of Sims. When, with that money, I ordered an Amiibo. I was living lines, even though my dog ended up chewing up that Amiibo. But I felt so good. I had all these consoles. Then, after that, I got a, um, a 3D, I got a DS Lite because I didn't know that much about gaming yet. So, I thought that the... I wanted to play Pokemon Emerald because I played it on an emulator because I... Was because that's how I started getting into retro games, like more retro games, because I played them on in, emulators on my computer. And um, but yeah, like I played Pokemon Emerald, and I wanted to play it on there. Um, I wanted to get a real version, but I ended up getting a fake copy from Japan, well, from China. But um, I thought that if I got a, well, I didn't want to pay, play any Pokemon game because I wanted to get into them. At, um. So I thought that if I got a DS Lite, that I'll be able to play because I because of the little research I did, I thought that it had a better screen than the Game Boy, than the Game Boy Advance, and all of them I I was considering them, but I knew that it had a better screen and I thought that I'll be able to play Game Boy, the regular Game Boys on it. But they inform, informed me before I left the store. But I only want then I thought I only wanted to play Pokemon Emerald, so I decided to get that. You know, because I thought he had a better screen and everything. Try, try to slowly remember. But, um, yeah, I, I did that. And this is where I'm really starting to build up my collection. Um, by that point, I had a good bit of 360, uh, 360 games. I had a good bit of Xbox One games. I was building up my collection. I, I, weirdly, I still don't have that many Xbox One games. But um, I was getting all these games I had. I was slowly buying back the games I had that I got rid of. Um, I bought, like, I have Deadpool again because I remember I really liked that game. And I was getting all these games that was really cheap because I realized I built them up really fast. I was going to thrift shops and all of them because I realized I was able to find games really cheap. And I'm, and, um, slowly, so I'm trying to remember. Because, sorry, my brain's kind of late. Not working, it's kind of late. And, um, I got, I had an Xbox at the time, so I was buying all these cheap games. I was finally building up the collection I wanted to have. And, um, slowly starting to remember. Slowly trying to remember. And then I started getting older games, like, Roaring Retro Games, because I had all those generations, like, mostly besides GameCube, because I just couldn't find a GameCube game system at a thrift shop. And um, I think one of these times I planned to, I think I planned to buy one. Um, I planned to buy a GameCube. I had money for it and everything, but I wanted to kind of ration the money because I knew I wanted to get a good bit of game. Because by this point, I knew how to shop for them, you know. And I went to a fifth shop looking for one, and I I mathed it out all in my head. Cause I just did a job. I got some money, and um, I realized that buying a GameCube might be really expensive, and I won't be able to buy barely any games. And um, I went to a thrift shop, and I actually found a Wii. Actually, this one, we have ever did. this one. I found this is I only got it because I wanted to play GameCube games, because that was the last system I needed from that generation. And um, I'm slowly getting. I'm I'm almost to the top of my thing, so it should be like one more video after this. I have to, if I have to make another one. And um, I I got this for seven bucks. I was really excited because I had I had like sixty dollars. And I got this, I, I, I might have had less, I might have had 40, I didn't have that much money. And I got this for $60, and I hate, I since I was little, I'm still kind of rassing to buy poor, like buy cheap games, because I can get more of them. And, um, I got, um, a whole bunch of, I got some cheap games, I don't remember all the games I got, 
But I don't have much more than I already had. I also got some Wii games, but I also had to buy some things. Though. See, this didn't come with a controller or a sensor, so I had to buy a sensor, so that was another $10. And this controller, um, I didn't have a good nun uh, I, don't, I think I had to buy a nunchuck too because I just didn't have one. I wanted to have one. And um, since I was doing so good on money, I didn't want to spend it all on GameCube. But um, I already had this controller because my original thing, I just had it stuffed in a bag somewhere. And I was using it for my Wii. But um, trying to remember it slowly. But I didn't have, I never, I don't have that many games for, for it. But um, I think next, while well, I was building up game little bit by little bit, if I have so many games now, and I'm so blessed to have this many. And I'm getting all these games I used to have. And um, the only thing that sucks, I couldn't afford a lot of the newer games like Wii U and everything. Which really sucks, but... Okay, I'll, I'm going to skip because I can't think of anything else. Next, I had all the consoles. like I had a 3DS. I had all of them. And um, I wanted to... I wanted to start getting older games because I was watching a lot of these like like Metal Metal Jesus had a lot of collections, you know. I was watching all these people on YouTube. I wanted to have that because as a kid, I couldn't afford any games. I couldn't afford no games. So now I want to have and but but I by this time I wasn't even playing some of my games. I was having because all these cheap games I was getting because a lot of these games like Skyrim was like five bucks now. All these games that was really decent games. PSP especially, I was able to buy amazing games like for it. Like in fact, I got this one not too long ago, one ninety five. I would have been amazed to have this as a kid. I played like I was, like I was playing. I was reading these books. Sorry, uh, this might have to be another video. I feel so bad for making so many videos, but um, I was doing good. I was doing work every now and then, so I was actually able to afford things. And my mom was giving me money every once in a while because we were doing a lot better. I was going to thrift shops game which actually helped a lot. And um by this point I was actually looking towards older games like Game Boy Advance, the games that I never had, like that's way before my time. But um that I never even thought about having. So I wanted to start get I wanted to get a Game Boy Advance. What well, what well, well I already had them. I only slowly started getting I I was getting them for the I slowly started collecting more. Never mind. I was already collecting for more point. But I started ramping it up, you know. I, I started wanting a Game Boy Color. That's what I'm thinking of. I started wanting a Game Boy Color. That was way before my time. A Game Boy Color and a regular Game Boy. And you know, I really wanted it. And um, what really sparked me is I had money. Uh, I didn't even plan to get it this day. And um, I had money. Um, I was going to thrift shops and everything. And I passed... Um, a Dr. Mario, which I knew nothing about, knew nothing about Dr. Mario. I didn't know it was just a cheap game. I'm actually going to end this video now and maybe upload because I might be running out of space. And um, I'm going to make another video, but I'm getting towards the end of my gaming history. Next is going to be Sega Genesis and all those old retro games. And um, thank you guys for watching. If you watch all these, and um, see you guys next time. It really appreciates that you listen to these because I like telling you where I'm coming from.